Hi friends, uh, welcome to Circle Time. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you're here today. Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend and that you're ready for a fun week of um, school. We are starting a new study and it's a study on pets. So I have a book that's a fun book about pets and we'll see what kind of pet it is when we get to that book. Okay, um, let's start with our counting. Today is the first day in our month of March. So we're gonna start with the number one. The number one, all right? And we want to count higher than number one, right? So we're going to count to 10. And I've got my big number cards right here. We're going to do this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, and 10. And now let's do it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. All right. I love counting in both English and Spanish. I think that's fun. All right. Um, we are going to start a new letter this week. And our letter this week makes that d, d, d sound. D. 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 The D says d. The D says d. Every letter makes a sound. The D says d. Yeah, and our little song today um, is Let's Dance for D. So it goes like this. Let's dance for D. And you make a dancing move, you dance in place. Let's dive for D. Oh, drive for D. <laughs> We're gonna drive a car. Let's drum for D. <laughs> And let's um, dive for D. Dive, dive, dive. So I did that song wrong. Let's do it one more time. Let's dance for D. Dance, dance, dance. Let's drive for D. Drive, drive, drive. Let's drum for D. Drum, drum, drum. Let's dive for D. Dive, dive, dive. That's a fun song. And I want to show you our big letter D poster. All right, let's see if we can figure out all the things on this poster that start with D. Okay, we have the letter D up here. And we have a D, D, duck. And a D, dock. A D, diver. And a D, dolphin. I don't think there's anything else that starts with D on that page, but... Maybe the little girl's name starts with a D. Maybe it's Diana. A duck met a diver at the dock on the on one day. I'm gonna start reading that over. <laughs> a duck met a diver by the dock one day. The diver met a dolphin and they all began to play. How fun. So, do you know anything that starts with the letter D? Does any of our friends have the letter D as the first letter in their name? I don't know. I don't think I have anybody in my, in the morning class. Um, but there's probably some friends that have D's in their name. Adriana and Caden. Um, Cassandra. Abe, no. <laughs> and Adelberto, 
You guys all have D's in your name. I was looking at your names on your, on my list back here. Um, all right, here's some other things that start with D. I have some pictures of some things that start with D. Here, this was in the big poster, a d dolphin. Yeah. And a d dinosaur. Who likes dinosaurs? I know I have some friends that like dinosaurs. D dog. Dog. Is a dog a pet? It is a pet. Is a dinosaur a pet? No, you can't have a dinosaur in your house, right? Is a dolphin a pet? No, but a dolphin is a wild animal. What is this? A doll, a doll. And a d duck? D donuts. Yeah, all those things start with the letter d D. How fun. All right, friends, I want to read you a book about a, what do you think this is? A dog. And the title of the book is Walk Your Dog. And it's written by Elizabeth Stevens Omer. So she wrote the words and pictures by Nisa Hudson. So Nisa drew the pictures. Okay, let's turn the camera a little bit. Let's do this, and we're going to read this book, Walk Your Dog. And I think this book is showing us all the things we should do with our dogs. It says, greet your dog. So say hello in the morning. Say hello when you come home. I always say goodbye to my dog before I leave for work in the morning. I say, bye, be good, have fun. <laughs> Groom your dog. You gotta brush them and give them baths, just like you need a bath. Sometimes you gotta give your dog a bath. Feed your dog. Oh, that dog's being naughty. Look at that, it jumped up on the table. That's not good. Look, she looks not very happy, does she? Doesn't she? No, nope, dogs don't jump on the table. They have their own dishes like this, right? They have dog food dishes. Dress your dog. <gasps> That's just silly. Do you think dogs should wear clothes? <laughs> Some people put clothes on, there ain't dogs. Walk your dog. Uh-oh. What's the dog doing? It's chasing after the cat, isn't it? I think that the dog is now walking the little girl. <laughs> He's pulling her, isn't it? Oh no, chase your dog. <gasps> he pulled away from her and she's chasing him all over the park. Catch your dog, uh-oh. Right into the mud puddle. Train your dog. Look at that, she taught him to sit. Treat your dog. You gotta give your dog a treat when they do something good, right? Clean your dog. There she is, getting a bath. Looks like she's taking a bath in the pool too with him. Settle your dog, calm him down. Help him calm his body, just like we need help calming our bodies sometimes. Love your dog. Oh, look at that, they're all cuddled up on their bed. How nice. All right, friends, do you have a dog at home? Do you um, take him for walks or give him a bath or brush him or feed him or her? I have a dog at home and I do those things. I probably don't brush him enough because he doesn't like it. But 
Um, I do all those things with my dog and I love him. <laughs> all right, friends. Uh, we're going to talk more about pets in our Zoom and in our other circle times. So we will um, do more of that later. And I will see you again tomorrow, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, guys.